So now we have the selected word chosen at random. We can now break it up into individual letters and then say whether or not they've been revealed or not. So when you guess a when you guess a letter in in uh, in uh, Hangman, obviously sometimes if you guess it right, then the word becomes revealed on the screen. So we need to actually tie up a letter with also a revealed state. So up here we can define a new struct called letter. So we'll talk about struct letter. This will have two members. The actual character itself, so E, A, B, whatever, and also the revealed state. So we can say uh, character, which would be of type uh, character or car, and also revealed, revealed of type boolean. This will be either true or false. So when a letter is revealed, obviously it's going to be revealed on the screen. When it's not revealed, so when it's when this is false, we're going to see just an underscore when it's being displayed on the screen. We can, we can save that one now. And now down here, we can write a function that will break up this word into a vector of these letters. So, we can uh, just get rid of the print line statement from the previous video. Now, we can say let mut letters equals create letters and pass in the selected word variable as a reference to that one right there. So now the create letters function will return a vector of this type right there. So down here, we can type out fn creates letters, taking in a reference to that uh, word right there. So we can say uh, word, a reference to a string. This will return once again a vector of letters. Okay, so now we can make that vector right now. So we'll say let mut letters of type a vector of letter. That was a bit confusing. Hold on one sec. So we can say vec new. So making a new variable called letters, uh, which is of type vector, which stores letters. So letter uh, struct type. This would be a new empty vector. So now we can loop through uh, each character inside the, um, the word itself and then push it to the letters vector inside that struct right here. So we can say for C in word.cars. So calling the cars uh, method, we're going to say letters dot push a new letter struct right character will be c that right there and it's going to start off revealed as being false so when you start the game all letters are not revealed they're all underscores so revealed is going to be false from here we can simply just return the vector that was created up there. So now I'll just comment this so we can say uh, uh, wrap each uh, character in a letter uh, struct and also just uh, create empty vector. Okay. Oh, okay. So now up here we have a vector of letter. So now we can we can write the function that'll print out the letters uh, with underscores and no underscores. So we're going to write this a function that does this, that sort of thing. So a function that basically just prints out that right there. So we can we can say uh, display progress, accepting a vector of letters. So we'll pass in that vector right there. Now, we're going to define this function on the bottom. So we can say fn display progress, accepting a, a reference to a vector of a letter. This will return nothing. Now we're simply just going to now loop through each letter and then print out the appropriate 
uh, symbol, so underscore or or the character itself. So we're going to make a new variable of type string as the display string. This will be the the final things we displayed. So we can say string from progress like that. Now this will eventually be like this. Progress and then boom a you know a again y so it's going to be like that by the end of this function. So now down here we can say for letter in letters. So for each letter in the letter vector we can first push a space to that string. So we're going to space it out, yeah? Now, if the letter is revealed, then we're going to push the letter itself to the string. So letter.character, sorry, the character itself to the string. So letter.character is like A, B, E, you know, an actual, an actual letter in the alphabet. And we're going to push that to the display string variable if it's been revealed. So if they've guessed this letter before. Otherwise, we're going to push an underscore. Like that. Once again, we can just... Uh, we can also uh, push a space just to space things out. Now, we can print line the display string. So display string. We can just uh, comment this on, so we can say uh, uh, display appropriate uh, character letter or underscore for each letter. If that makes sense. So now up here, we're calling the display progress uh, function, passing in letters. So now we can save this one, go on the console and test it out. Can run this. And we see we get progress with just underscores. So we might actually just go back in, back in the code and just print out the selected word again. So we can say uh, print line selected words uh, was and pass in selected words. Just, just so we can see the actual word itself. We can save that one and run it again. And we see the word was keyboard. We see K E Y B O A R D. As I said, all the all the letters are by default not revealed. If we make this true, save it, try it again. We should see keyboard, uh, you know, print it out uh, normally or or mouse. This in this case it was mouse. So we see M O U S E print it out all revealed. Let's make that back to false, just for the game itself. Alright, that's all for this video. Next time we'll actually be uh, reading user input and do most of the game logic itself. But that's all, thank you for watching and I'll see you later.